City branding is a growing field of research and up to date most of the research um, published in international journals have been focused on the European and American or more Western contexts. At Stockholm University School of Business, a group is planning to arrange China Symposium 2012, Chinese megacities in the world. This is a very young area of research. We are bringing together people that's never met before. We are bringing together people from China where uh, we are not quite sure that the practice of city branding, which is the issue we are going to discuss, is going to be the same if we're going to talk the same language. Or uh, So in the, to put it very frank, I'm, I'm looking very much forward to it, but I'm also terribly anxious uh, if it's going to work out. <laughs> The 35 participants, academics and professionals from China and Europe represent several disciplines such as marketing, management, human geography, political science, communication, economic geography, tourism, sociology, urban planning and economic history. So this uh, China Symposium that is organized here uh, these three days is uh, a most welcome component in our efforts to make Stockholm University more international and I wish you a successful meeting and again most welcome to Stockholm University. Cities uh, become more and more important uh, in a way in competition with their own uh, governments uh, so I think this, this is one part of uh, the workshop. The other part is that we uh, have a lot of practitioners here, people who uh, have been working with cities and dis discussing their branding programs, maybe helping them, planning them, so we get a lot of experience to, uh, to reflect on. China has closed its door for so many years and just opened up for 30 years. So there are a lot of things to be explored and uh, the other side of the world is very curious about what is happening in China. This event, the China Symposium, is uh, going to build a bridge between the Stockholm and the Chinese cities and also between different universities to bring scholars together. We hope that this types, these types of events can lead to uh, ideally to future forms of research collaboration but equally important to have a flow of teachers between Stockholm universities and our Asian counterparts. Well, I think it's generally important if uh, scholars from different cultures, different contexts meet and exchange uh, their different experiences and you have uh, interesting meetings where, where new ideas uh, emerge. Nowadays, uh, academically, you cannot uh, sit down in your office and, and research by yourself. And uh, ideas are traveling, people are traveling, so you have to follow the phenomena that we actually are searching. And since we are humankind, we can't be all over the world, so in some way we need to collaborate with, with other researchers. The symposium consists of a combination of paper presentations and interactive sessions, such as discussions and workshops. It might be in 10 years the best one for our our place. Okay, but, let, let's, but, but, but Professor Ren, you have a very good point. Uh, San Francisco, for example. The city what we are aiming at is to have a discussion which will help us to understand the concept of city branding to thereby contribute to the social sciences in general, because as you understand, this is a very, very wide concept which spans a number of different disciplines. The means to do it is to develop a networks. The means to do it is to have an open discussion, an open exchange of knowledge and of experiences, and I would say uh, to have a lot of fun. Uh, because if we can have fun together, we are building friendship and friendship bonds, and that will um, be the best uh, insurance we could have for a pro prolonged uh, collaboration. Well, I feel very happy. I, it, it feels a bit sad that the symposium is coming to an end, but I'm happy that uh, so much has happened and that it has been very beneficial for many people. I will take with me a deeper understanding of the different aspects of branding and the discussions that are going on among scholars who work on these issues, but also professionals and officials who are involved in actually the branding process. So my feeling is marvelous, but I think also we have to do a lot. We're still in the first step of the long march. We can use what we've, get, we, we've learned from here uh, and put it into our practice, into our work. 
and uh, also we want to carry on. We want to hold another symposium in, in China. Um, I would like to hold it in Tsinghua University. That's my university, one of the best in China. So we would like to carry this on, not only by ideas, but by the, um, the format of the symposium. It feels really nice. Uh, I'm very happy that it was um, that it turned out the way it did. Uh, that the conference participants were pleased. Um, that it felt like everyone learned something from the conference, and that we were able to form further collaborations, and that there will be a continuation also in the following years. I'm feeling very much relieved that it's over. It's been an extremely extremely intense experience for all of us who's been here and um, it's been we've found uh, I've got a lot of new professional colleagues and friends and uh, above all we got uh, a horde of ideas that we are now going to process. More concrete outcomes is that we formed research collaborations between uh, the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences and the School of Business and the Stockholm Program of Place Branding. Um, we've also uh, decided that we will create an edited book uh, based on uh, some of the papers that were presented here at the symposium. And we have decided that there will be a next symposium next year to be held in Beijing as a collaboration between Tsinghua University, the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences and Stockholm University as well as Fudan University. Mm -hmm.